Welcome to the final part, part 4 of our CRM series. Today I'll show you how to send emails directly from your Airtable CRM. Are you ready? Let's begin. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and in the part 2 of this uh, ChatGPT Airtable CRM series I have shown you how to generate reply to your incoming emails directly inside of your Airtable and how to schedule those emails. And in the part three, I have shown you how to create cold emails or new emails also directly inside of Airtable and also how to schedule them for a specific date. And in both cases, we have ended up on this view inside of the interactions where you have all the emails that are scheduled in the future to be sent out. So now I wanted to go with you through the scenario inside of make.com that is sending out those emails on the scheduled date. So this way um, you can see what is your pipeline. Maybe you can also have some kind of calendar view. And we are using make.com to connect to our Gmail account. We're using here Gmail, but you could also use another uh, emailing system. And inside of make.com, we have created a scenario which you can find in the description of this video. You can download the, the blueprint, you can import it, or you can just follow the video and you can create it uh, following the tutorial here. So this scenario does a following thing. It's a very simple scenario. What it does, it starts with the search records module. So here you would obviously have to connect to your Airtable and so on. Then we are checking with the base, which is called the call emails and sales CRM. And as you move down, we are going at the interaction table and we are going through the scheduled emails. But there is one more element. We are not going to be retrieving all the scheduled emails. That is why we have added additional formula over here saying date and time. This is exactly the name over here. So you could even copy paste that name and go back to make.com and paste it over here, but it needs to be inside of the curly brackets. This is following the same logic as Airtable formulas are. And then we say less than now. So if that date is less than now means it's in the past. So let's say it's today, 7 a.m. It's after 7 a.m this means that this record would show up because it's due to be sent out. All those other records would not show up because they are not in the past. They're not supposed to be sent out yet. Here we are also setting a limit how many of them we would like to process at the time to avoid sending big quantities of emails at, at one time. So that's why we can set it, for example, to 10 or 20 or 50. And here we are also using a scheduling. So this scenario will check regularly whether the email should be sent out and it will check every 15 minutes. So once we turn it on. So now the next step is to avoid this scenario breaking in case there is no record. So we say ID, ID basic operator exists. So if nothing has been found inside of that search, if there's no search result, the scenario would not proceed. Otherwise you, you would might, you would just get errors here. And right now we are having uh, also a simple uh, markdown module here. Markdown means that it converts from the formatting that you would have inside of Airtable. So the text content here is actually, this should be also enabled. So uh, we should have the rich text formatting which means that whenever we have uh, emails over here, we can, uh, for example, use bold and so on. So to maintain that bold and not to send it as a plain text, we need to convert it into HTML. So we say markdown, convert to HTML, click OK. And what it does, it basically re will return, this is the input text and it will return a basic HTML. And because Gmail and most of the email clients are using HTML, this is why we would uh, require that. So inside of the Gmail module, the settings are quite simple. So I have turned on the advanced settings and here you can kind of adjust. You obviously need to connect to your uh, Gmail. And it is important to know that if you have Google Workspace, kind of the, the Google G Suite business, business account, this will work just fine. It will be quite easy to set up. If you have 
a regular Gmail, there will be a little bit more setup which you can find here in help. Okay, so here you can kind of personify what sort of um, recipient is visible. So you could add uh, your name or company name and so on. Here there is the recipient. Now I have been using this with my own email not to send out any um, wrong emails, but what you would do, you would take here this field, which is email from the contact, and this is the correct field. So this is the field to which it would be sent up. You can also add another recipient if you'd like, or you can also add something in the CC. It is also possible to have attachments if you would like. It's also possible to have um, attachment in those fields, but let's change it back to me now temporary for that email. And in, type, in, in terms of the subject, we are also using the subject field from here. And in terms of the content, we are taking our HTML content. So this is a fairly straightforward configuration. So it's very simple. And in the final step, we're going back to Airtable. And here, the only thing that we do is on the record ID. So we're updating the same record that was returned in the search results. We are changing this to type email. So we have selected email over here. Previously, it will come in as a scheduled email. So we are changing this from scheduled email to email. So we know that this was the outgoing email. So uh, we have a record of that and it basically disappears from our contact list over here. So this means that this basically gets changed to email and we will see this inside of our interaction. So these were the automated emails that were sent out. We are also adding one more thing for the record. We're not doing anything with that, but we're just saving that message ID here at the bottom. And that's it. So just update of those two elements. Since right now we have one email that is supposed to be sent out. So when I run the scenario, you will see that this email was sent out and here actually that email, email here to, to Richard got changed to email. So you will see that once I remove it, it disappears from here. And let's see if we can find this in my email. And you can see that that email showed up over here. So it says dear Richard and so on and signed by, by us. One thing to note is that due to um, how this module is structured over here, if you are sending replies. So if you're having a scheduled replies like this, so this is a reply to the previous email when we are replying to the Emily, um, this will show up basically as a new email. It will not show up, unfortunately, as a reply. It will just show up as a new email. This is due to the fact that on this particular module, it is not linking it to the previous email ID. So we cannot have it directly as a reply, but it will look like a reply since it's coming with the subject that is starting with reply and it's the previous topic and so on. So that's how the emails here are set up. And uh, yeah, so the only thing that you need to have this uh, being set out from Airtable is this view over here and this simple scenario in the uh, in, inside of make.com. All right, so this is everything. Um, let me know how is this working for you and Please share any comments you have in the description of this video. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.